Kunal Mukherjee. Uh, I am by training an operator algebraist, uh, but I especially do one-hour algebras with uh, a strong emphasis on maximal avalanche of algebras. Uh, I have done my masters from Indian Statistical Institute uh, back in '98, and I graduated with a PhD from Texas A&M University under the supervision of Professor Ken Daikema. Uh, while I was trained in the pre-probability school, and in that way, my research. Uh, is mostly about ramifications of matters that appear arise from free probability. Uh, I am an associate professor and uh, working in IIT Madras since last 10 years. And well, over here I have a research team of a couple of students uh, and postdoctoral fellows, and we also have some colleagues in other neighboring institutes with whom we. Uh, continue our research. Uh, <clears throat> so we are engaged in uh, uh, picking up projects from national and international agencies uh, and Sekipra is one of them that we try. So my Sekipra project is titled Maximal Abelian Subalgebras in Operator Algebras. Uh, this is quite a exotic topic in one algebras but it's also quite difficult because the area of one algebras is not so popular as other areas of mathematics. Uh, in this project uh, I am one of the PI from India and my co-PI is in Nysa Bhuvaneshwar, Pachugopal Vikram and the PI from the French side is Professor Eric Ricard in University of Pont and uh, is the director of the laboratory of mathematics there. Along with him, we have uh, Professor Ronald Varnu, who is also in the University of Pont. And we have two other French colleagues from the University of Paris 7, that's Professor Pierre Fima and Professor François Lemaitre. So we are a six member team. Uh, plus, there are some other people, those who are our students and Postdocs, those are not officially part of the project, but they help us in navigating through the project. Uh, it was quite a huge grant for us, and uh, well, while Corona did a lot of blow in uh, executing the project, like foreign travels and so on, we think we are quite successful. And uh, well, this have actually made us reach the French team more uh, with a more wider appeal and that's what I think is one of the most things that I cherished and I had. So as the outcome of the project in mathematics, the deliverables are usually papers and uh, talks and conferences for dissemination of science. Uh, dissemination of science has not happened that much because travels have been limited because of corona crisis but as far as uh, papers are concerned. In the last project report, I believe we have given a, a list of around 13 or 14 papers, all of which uh, at the international level. Uh, with, for example, one of the notable results that um, myself, along with Eric Machu and a collaborator in China, China settled is the factoriality problem of the uniform part in normal algebras. This is kind of open from 2004 uh, and it, it is in the spirit of the project like it has to do with maximal variance of algebra and so on. There are also other papers that we have written in this project along with students and postdocs but uh, joint Indo-French collaboration has been a little bit, uh, I mean a little bit deferred because of the corona crisis. Along with the French team uh, in Paris 7, we are writing a very long paper on Boyle subspaces of one-man and algebra, which is already a 100-page draft by now. So we will take some time to finish it. Maybe not, cannot finish it by the time the project ends, but we will keep on going, doing it. So in this way, I really believe the project was successful, given that 
we were not allowed to meet and have to do many things by electronic modes of communication and uh, we would like to continue this collaboration with the French colleague and sport in some ways or the other. Uh, Sefipra has been a great help for this uh, scientific peers on the Indian side because Sefipra is actually quite generous in this regard. They allow us a number of travels and uh, uh, to recruit uh, postdocs and uh, students at uh, our pace. And uh, it also it also helps us in a way to actually make a bridge not just between the French colleagues and us, but also to travel to Europe. Once we visit France, it's very easy to move around in Europe and uh, collaborate with many people. Uh, that way, Sahitra uh, helps us. And uh, given that there are, I, I really believe that France is one of the countries in the world which has a very strong uh, knack of doing pure science. Not many countries do have this. Uh, I really appreciate Sefitra for helping and bridging us between the French and Indian colleagues to come on the board and do something that we can do. Long live India and France friendship.